3,920 pounds and looking good with that new nose cap. Winnebago Micro Mini 2106 F. BS, which is a walk around front queen with a sofa slide here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. I tell you, they haven't like really changed a lot from the previous generation, but that nose cap, the off road package coming together, gives this thing just a beefy, awesome look on what has historically for the last two or three years been our most reliable series of travel trailers. Now, it doesn't take long to realize that even with that slide closed, this camper is exceptionally traveling, stop friendly, turtle friendly. And whether it's the fact that we have a carpetless camper with ventless flooring so that it's easy cleaning and very excellent like if you camp in a dirty or sandy area or something like that or maybe got a grandkid who doesn't like to take his shoes off when they come in and out. Not that I did that to my grandparents. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. We've got a popular series of campers here. The lighter colors make this little thing look and feel not so little. Right along with that is the fact that you've got plenty of window coverage in this thing. Like you can see how that's a true viewing window in the entry door, although it does have its own privacy shade. Plus, you've got that extra large window over here and a matching extra large window on the opposite side of that front walk around bed. So you two of you don't have to, you know, climb up and down, climb over one another and wake each other up at night if you need to use the bathroom or sneak to the fridge to get some of those tasty leftovers. Now at a glance when you pop these open, you suddenly start to key into the fact that you've only got one side wardrobe closet. Don't worry, there's a big chunk more extra hanging storage in the bathroom that we'll see in a minute. But storage is really important in these. I like how they kind of split the difference. You still have a little side stand over here. You have really functional full overhead cabinet space, but they left this side open for the folks who are maybe a little bit claustrophobic uh, or who maybe want to run a CPAP machine or have the phone a little bit closer to their face tonight. Plus you see you have a very deep full extension drawer right there waiting for you whenever you happen to need it. Now just to help illustrate how large the storage under this bed is, I went in the shop and I grabbed a uh, dual 30 pound tank propane cover here so that you can see that, yeah, you absolutely have good storage wallet. And with the easy lift decking on there, notice how that deck is plywood. You start to realize how everything in this is made to be simple, easy, reliable, and, uh, you know, God forbid, a little bit fun. <laughs> that privacy curtain right there is a simple thing, but it's a thing that a lot of manufacturers tend to leave out. And if you do plan to have a little weekend guest here, you know, a little grandkid or something over there, a big Labrador on the sleeper sofa, sometimes it's nice to have that extra little, uh, you know, just, just visual break for privacy. From here, we can zero in on the kitchen. And what's nice, you'll see it better as I turn around the other direction. There's some good prep space here for a little camper, but it's easier to see that like potential wastebasket space and that outlet right here from this direction. Now there's a countertop sort of like wing out extension right there to give you that extra prep space when you need it. And you can see kind of the gleam off that. It, it's really kind of telling of the sealed edge countertop that you have all the way through this. So the counter extension, the sink cover, the roll away drying rack, and that flush mount tempered glass stovetop cover all kind of come together to give this thing a little bit of prep space that it really benefits from. And you can see countertop to cabinet bottom, full wall backsplash there, helping keep that uh, kind of kitchen clean and splatter debris stuff under control. Now the small door on the left, that's your control panel. If you do have a little weekend guest, their little hands are hidden away from that thing. And a full size six cubic foot fridge freezer is a nice find in here. Down below that, by the way, that's our converter box on the left and our furnace on the right. That furnace is part of the reason that you don't have any sort of, uh, well, it's position rather, it's part of the reason you don't have any uh, floor ducts. Um, now, all the lights here are kind of cool. Uh, like, you can boop, touch these. They're little touch sensitive lights. I love it whenever the RV industry has neat little things like that. Also, you have the ability to outfit this floor plan with a larger 15,000 BTU uh, air conditioner, which is typically what we do here at Halet RV, although every now and then one will sneak through with a more standard air system. Uh, these uh, micro minis have a pretty standardized entertainment block. You know, you've got your Bluetooth DVD player uh, above, your uh, flat screen TV there. But one of the cool things, if I get this bathroom door out of the way, is right below that, we've got a handy little 12-volt uh, um, wireless charge pad. Now, where that's really cool is there's a lot of people, like, I cut the cord. I, I am exclusively a subscriber to streaming media services. I'm not cable, satellite, or anything like that. 
So I could, if I wanted to, plug my phone directly into that uh, TV right there and enjoy my Netflix and my Hulu and my Amazon Prime and all those other little things. Now you can see how there's a little bit of storage around the entertainment center, a little bit above the sofa, but a big window below that cabinet as we come down to the sofa. Um, some people like to ask, can I, you know, outfit this with a different kind of sofa? And the answer is no, you can't, because the sofa is actually directly above the wheel well. That's uh, part of the reason this slide-out does not go all the way to the floor, so you can't put a big, like, theater sofa in there. Your feet would be dangling off the floor. So we've got good entertainment space, good living space, solid kitchen space, but one of the questions we're going to get here is, where do I eat? Good news is folks at Winnebago got you covered. Because hiding behind that sofa the entire time was this handy little free-floating table. Now, because of the slide, there's still enough room here. If you want to put a couple chairs on the other side and play some cards or have a meal with some friends, you can fit four people around there. And as I said, there is storage around the entertainment center and above that sofa right there. They really didn't lose out on anything, although the window is not being kind to me. Let me get up there. I love the wood tones they're using here. Got a very natural but still light feel. Now, this is kind of cool right here. It's easy to miss, like the doorway. You can see how it's got trim all the way around it. It's actually fully studded framework. You can see how this wall is not buckling when I, you know, ha pow, tiger smash it, basically. It's been a long time since I did my kung fu training, which mostly consisted of watching The Matrix and falling down and hurting myself. But the fact is, this is fully studded out so that the doorway always remains square, which is nice. Now, also nice is the elbow room you're getting from this uh, radius shower track up top here. And you can see you've actually got a pretty good size shower. I mean, you don't feel too cramped into that thing. Good leg room, even for a bigger person like me. And as we work our way around, you can see that you've got more of that sealed edge counter stuff, a big adult size stainless sink. And next to that medicine cabinet, we have, that's that extra hanging storage I told you about. And I like how they throw that extra little shelf up there, whether it's toiletries or towels, just a little separator because the, uh, you see the hanging rack up there, the hanging space is plenty big. And then down below, you see that white little ring around the plumbing? They don't have to do stuff like that but they do stuff like that to keep this thing looking sharp, you know? It's purely cosmetic, but it helps. It's really a testament to the fact that they're very complete in their execution here. And in case you're wondering, yes, there is a heat duct here into the bathroom. People miss that very often because it's at a funny angle where I tend to stand. Now, this little trailer also has a huge front pass-through storage compartment. You see the simple battery disconnect switch over there, full-size baggage doors on both sides, a light so you can see what you're doing, and the uh, kind of prep location for a solar controller should you choose to utilize that new roof uh, solar prep that previously was not on those. So the windshield, or pardon me, not windshield, pardon me, nose cap generation kind of signals when the roof solar prep kicked in. Below that big baggage door was also a, uh, a little gas grill quick connect. So whether you've got yourself a propane grill or like a Blackstone griddle or a Suburban grill or whatever, You've got a great little cooking spot there. These are seven foot wide, easy towing, easy to see around, although I do always, always recommend safety mirrors, guys. Get, just don't spend this kind of money on a travel trailer and then skip the 40 bucks or whatever it, you need for side mount mirrors or, you know, it's just, it's, it's just silly not to do that. So power awning, power tongue jack, that stuff's pretty darn common, lighting under the awning. But what I want to focus on here is the skin because Winnebago's use a very different skin. It's a T60 gel coat, which is way, way thicker. Like most fiberglass comes on a roll because it's bendy. This is not. This is a rigid, strong sheet. I've always felt the fiberglass is part of what's helping the entire structure of the RV maintain its integrity, and it has got an incredible reflectivity we'll see as we walk around it. Now, that's also a very um, reparable kind of uh, fiberglass where if it gets scratched, you could easily buff anything out. Now, on top of that, one of the other things that's really contributing to, I think, the structural integrity and the sterling service records we get out of our Winnebago trailers here at Halet RV is the uh, BAL chassis, the Norco chassis. It is a huck-bolted Z-frame aircraft-style chassis. There's multiple different ways you could describe it. But the most easy uh, and effective way I think you can describe it is lighter but stronger. And it brings us right down to this enclosed heated underbelly. Now as we start to work our way back up, we pass these big tires. Uh, the Micro Minis used to have an optional off-road package that became standard. 
And what it includes is the larger tires here, and they give it that really aggressive tread pattern. I always laugh because it's like, is somebody thinking that the, the, the nubby tires on their trailer is going to he help keep their tires from spinning out in the mud or something? I don't know, but it looks cool. They look absolutely awesome. Those aluminum wheels look great. Above it is a galvanized steel uh, shield, basically, so God forbid one of those radial tires does give up the ghost, you're good. You have a matching spare. You don't get a, uh, a second grade spare. Everything is the same. But that off-road package is now standard. And one of the things I like about it, they never really had a problem with it, but customers had the concern that your sewer pipes were a little too close to the ground. Now there's just no concern. Above that, you've got all of your uh, hookups all in one nice centralized location, which is, I think, one of the best ways to go. Uh, reverse travel lighting built into those taillights complements the backup camera prep very, very nicely. So, uh, you know, what's, what's kind of cool here is the consistency between the seven wide micro mini and the eight foot wide mini. They both pretty much do all the same things. It's just this one's a little bit smaller and lighter. So it's just a matter of which one kind of fits you better. Now you can see the dual entry step, those anti-slip aluminum plank steps are also easier to see at night. And we are going past um, TV hookups, by the way. Anti-slam door and an XL handle makes coming and going easy. And again, we already saw how you get awesome campsite visibility here, but those are some heavily tinted windows. And you get a choice of uh, platinum, white, or champagne skin packages on these Winnebago's. But I gotta tell you, this white is winning me over. It's just, it's a whiter white. I don't know what it is, but good Lord, does it look fantastic. And up here on the roof, you can see that we have just a sea of inventory, typically over 500 different options on hand for you. And uh, they're all a little different. They're all cool in their own way. And I like that Winnebago's keeping up with the times. You know, There's a lot of people who like, I want a small trailer. I want one that's easy to tow. I want one that doesn't scare me. I want something SUV towable for appropriate tow package SUVs, obviously. But sometimes I want to get off grid. Well, bam. Roof solar prep and plenty of room. Like you could easily have a pair of 100 watt panels or something up here running down to that charge controller. And I mean, it's just, they're, they're really on top of it. If you're looking for the last RV you ever want to own, but you're looking for something that's just small, you're not looking for a giant fifth wheel. These micro minis have been an absolute rock star for that sort of description. I mean, you can see right here how many that we have on hand. We, we, we go pretty deep with Winnebago. We are a very large dealer for them and for good reason. They fit us very well. Their service department is excellent, although we just rarely have to call them. That's probably why they're so good. They're not overwhelmed with a bunch of other things that they're dealing with, you know? But again, every RV has its great points. That's why we carry all these different things. So whether you need hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery and everything in between, we do it all. So take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping everyone. Maybe you can win a bag go camping. Ah, I should cut that out. I'm not gonna. <laughs>